Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin and Gray, where we embrace autumn all year long. Hey, today's video is another Shein haul. So this is fall slash Halloween items. I got my massive purchases in that I had gotten a while back for my Salem trip. So these items are things that I'm not going to be wearing in Salem, but I am going to do another video that I know is always requested sharing my Salem outfits. I think I'm going to do a two-parter there. I like my Salem outfits to be a surprise. Um, the fashion that I wear when I go to Salem is a big deal to me. As stupid as it might sound, it is like the one week out of the year that I feel like the most me, um, where I really just like it's not the day-to-day -day life, so I get to really go all out. So anyways, I'm going to share suggestions, things I would wear to Salem, things that I, I bought, so I obviously love them. Um, and then I will do a video like sharing what I'm actually going to wear in Salem um, when I get back from the trip. So I guess what I did wear in Salem, if that makes sense. You'll see it all in the vlog. I'm going to be vlogging the whole trip as well. So anyways, these items today, though, are just fall and Halloween feeling cozy items that I got from Shein that I wanted to share with you. As of today, they're all available on their website. You just have to like search keywords and stuff. Um, I'm going to try to edit this and get it up quickly because as you know, stuff on their site flies. So I don't want you to like something and not be able to get it. Um, the shirt that I'm wearing right now is also from them. Just so you know, I am not sharing everything. Like I said, it would take too long. I ordered a lot. Um, but one thing I'm really excited about this year, it's all of these like a lot of them I got are flannels, like true flannel with a flannel pattern, but just these kind of flannel type shirts. This one is really thick and cozy. I mean, it's very soft. I was really impressed. I love this. White is such a great one, in my opinion, to have. Goes with every hat, every type of pant, every shoe. I just love this. So this one will get a lot of wear and you'll see some other ones that I got as well that are like true flannels. So if you're in the need, hop on their website. They have a ton. Also, side note, I've gotten plenty of hats from Shein before. This one is not there. This is from Shop Roots Boutique. I will also leave their information down in the description box. I've done a whole video on them. They're a boutique here in Colorado, but they ship online um, and they have the cutest pieces. I love this hat so much. So let's jump into the first thing. Speaking of hats, <clears throat> I kind of still can't believe I did this, but I got a bucket hat, you guys, and it takes me back to being an eight-year-old and I love it. And I only got it because it's covered in pumpkins, but it's actually really cute. And I think I'm going to really, really like it with like an oversized sweater just on those cozy mornings or like for having a bad hair day, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I think it's so cute. I should also mention, you will see, I'm going to insert pictures of all of these items as well. So you can get a look at kind of like how I would style them and um, what they look like one. All right, the first item for your body that I wanted to share was this sweater. I love this sweater. I mean, is this not like such a good fall piece? You know, it just screams fall. Um, it is a little cropped, which I always enjoy. I do not like super cropped tops. Like that is not my style. And if it comes only in that, it always annoys me, but this is long enough. Uh, I wear high-waisted jeans a lot, so it's really cute with that. But the color is adorable. It's like Freddy, but for fall and I love it. It's very soft, super cozy. I will definitely get a ton of wear out of this one. All right, so jumping into a true flannel, I am in love. I shared some of these on my Instagram. If you're not following me, that link will be down below. Um, my stories tend to always see things first, um, but I love this flannel. It is so soft, so comfy, and it is long. So I always get my shirts in a large, like typically always, um, especially shirts like this. So this you'll see when I show you the picture here, I will tie this up. I love tying my shirts up, especially flannels. I will tie this up in the front so it looks more like that and then wear it with like a pair of ripped up jeans and some combat boots and you have such an effortless look. I love flannels in the fall. I love them on girls, I love them on guys. I just think they're such attractive pieces and they're just so easy, you know? They're just so simple. Throw on a tank underneath if you want. These are very, very like solid though. You don't have to have anything on underneath which I love, just so cozy. Like it just makes me wanna curl up with a coffee. All right, if you saw my latest Target and Dollar Tree haul, you would have seen this sweater on me. This may actually go up first, I'm trying to break those up. So we'll see, but you'll see it on me. Um, this is a sweater that they had. Of course I got it. It's orange and black and it has bats all over it. So that was 
all that I needed to see. Um, again, it is cropped. I like how the bats are flying all over. So like some are upside down. There's some on the sleeve all the way to the wrist. Very, very cute. Again, very soft. It has this like darker kind of band down here and curls up a little bit. I mean, it's orange and black with bats. Okay, another fun like shirt that I got just for Halloween time is this one here. It was actually the sleeves that got me. I love my little ghost. You guys know I love my ghosties. Uh, this is more of like a slinky material and it's insanely soft and comfortable, but the sleeves are what got me. I love a good black and white anything for Halloween time. So I thought this knock myself out. I thought this was adorable. Um, I'm sure I'll film in this at some point too but it's very cute, so you'll see it in the picture, but I love it. All of these things are very reasonably priced. Obviously, it's Shein. Um, some more than others, the flannels and stuff are gonna run a little bit higher, but still not bad. Um, but anyways, this one was a must. Anything black and white just gives me Beetlejuice vibes, and like I need all that energy in my life. All right, this sweater is just such a good staple. You guys know I live for an oversized sweater. Everything I get is oversized. It's what I wear all year. Like even in the summer, I'm in oversized tops. I am not a tight clothing fan, but I loved this. It has that like waffle kind of look to it. I loved the buttons and then the sleeves get a little bit tighter at the wrist, which is always a favorite of mine because I love when a sleeve has that little like belled out or, or more of like a balloon shape. Although I, I love a good bell sleeve too, but just something going on with the sleeve. Um, this color is just great for fall. I love this color. It's a little cute with this hat. I love this color with like a brown combat boot. I think the combination is so beautiful. So just a pair of jeans. You can wear this with leggings too. Definitely long enough. And it's longer in the back, which I always look for because I do like to be able to wear leggings with them and have my butt covered. Just a great top for that. You'll see it in the photo with leggings on, but super, super cute. I also think this would look adorable with those leggings, like the pleather ones. Very, very pretty. All right, my Instagram stories saw this first as well. And I think I called it a flannel in my stories, but I was too lazy to like take it down. But anyways, this is, I guess, technically a jacket. It's like a tweed material. I love this one. I was so drawn to it immediately when I saw it. Um, there's like a piece there. It is the cutest little jacket. It's kind of like a shacket, which I always love those as well. They're like my style completely. Um, but the print is adorable. But the best part is that it has these like pearl beads that take me back to something my grandmother would wear. And I love the combination. It's just very unexpected. It gives it like a cozy, like more formal feel, but it's not like it's, it's so easy to just throw one, like I put a black tee under it or a white tee under it and a pair of jeans and some booties. You could dress it up with booties, dress it down with combat boots. Really, really cute. Again, so long. I can barely show you the end, which I love because you could wear this with leggings and a long shirt underneath. It's beautiful. Another jacket that I got to take to Salem that I am in love with. Now I saw this online and I was kind of torn on if I was going to like it in person or not, but I got home and I put it on and I fell in love. This is a long pleather jacket. It is very thin, you know, that kind of like bendable, really easy to wear pleather. Just for the record, I don't wear leather ever. So if you see me wearing something that looks like leather, just know it's fake. Um, but anyways, I love it. You'll see it in the photo styled. I cannot wait to take this to Salem. It is such a good piece. I'm gonna wear this over like a little black dress just to fancy it up. But just like with that last piece, you could really like fancy this up with some black booties and like I said, a black dress, or you could really, really make it casual with some jeans and a simple little tee. I mean, how cute with like a horror tee, like some little slasher tee with some boots and uh, like combat boots and jeans. So cute, but like edgy still. I loved it. I'm so glad I pulled the trigger on this. I really wasn't sure. And I'm gonna wear it a ton this fall. All right, next up is like a really good basic to have in your wardrobe every fall. This is a dress that is just so simple and easy. Again, I shared it on my stories. It is this really pretty like heathered gray. I love the details of this little stripe running throughout here. Um, and then it does have this really cute waist here. And then one more of the little seams towards the bottom. So just like a really good basic, like I said. Again, long enough. You could wear it with leggings if it's cold out. You don't have to if it's warmer. But it's like a pretty heavy dress. Um, and I love pairing these with a hat and combat boots. 
I just love that. Again, combat boots, you're gonna hear me talk about them all the time. If I had one piece of clothing that I would suggest you get for fall, it would be combat boots. Maybe I'll do like a shoe video. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. I have a ton of booties and combat boots and um, like knee high boots. I have so many, like dozens. If you want me to do a video on that, I would love to share. Um, combat boots are just key to me. Something like this that is very feminine. I love to add a combat boot with and it instantly just takes it to like a different place, adds a little bit of an edginess to it, which is always more my style. Um, but this is a great piece to have. The most fun piece that I got and I got it just because of that reason, because it is like weird and fun. This is just a black cropped sweater, just slightly cropped, not bad. Um, and it has this like oversized collar, which I love and it's really soft and it just has jack-o'-lanterns, three on each sleeve. And then this big old guy in the middle that is fuzzy. He's so cute. If you go on Shein, just type in Halloween shirts, you will find a ton. Like there's a lot. Halloween dresses, type that in as well. If you're in the need for something with an actual Halloween print, and you type that in, you're gonna see ghost, skeletons, spider webs, witches, pumpkins, the whole thing. Um, I love this one so much. It's gonna be really, really cute with a pair of jeans and some booties. I love it. I can't get enough. Look at his face. I just love that he's so fuzzy. All right, so the one piece that I think is going to Salem with me that I'm sharing now is this dress because I love this so much. So another thing, this just reminded me, I would say combat boots and then velvet. That's my personal taste at least. I love velvet in the fall. You know this, you've seen it, you're gonna continue to see it. There's a lot of velvet coming with me to Salem. Um, this is a short dress and the color is just stunning. So the sleeves have this little beautiful detail that wraps all the way around and then it matches the detail in the front. These are little leaves. Of course, it reminded me of fall. It is such a beautiful, deep purple. I wear so much black that I loved that this was purple. My best friend told me the same thing. Um, this kind of reminded me of Anna as well from Frozen, which I thought was funny, but I love it. And I am taking this to Salem. I don't know where I'm wearing it yet. Luckily, our hotel is right where everything's going on. So I'm gonna pop in around lunchtime and change so I can like double the amount of outfits that you guys get to see. Um, but this is beautiful. Such a, such a pretty piece. Does show a little cleavage, which I like, and then has the tie here that I left tied when I wore it, but you could also open up, but beautiful color for the fall. All right, and the last piece to share today, again, you'll see much more of what I got in my order here soon. It is this that I am in love with. This is a very cropped top, but I wore it with high-waisted jeans and it's adorable. It gets tighter around the wrist here. It is the softest, slinkiest t-shirt material and it says happy Halloween trick or treat and it is full of spider webs, a jack-o'-lantern and bats. Needless to say, it had to come home. I love this. What a good, easy throw on piece. If you're just like running out the door, running errands, just to stay home in and feel the Halloween vibes in. It's really, really cute. And again, I found this one by typing in Halloween shirts. Really adorable. This was a large, yeah, a large, um, I just love the material. So easy and cute. All right, so that wraps up this part one of the Shein haul. Like I said, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the part two. I'm going to share my Salem outfits. I have like a part two of just regular ones coming, plus my Salem ones, the vlog, so much coming. So hit the subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite piece was. Um, and definitely let me know if you want me to do that shoe video. I'd be more than happy to do that as well. Just to give you guys some ideas. Some of them are old. You probably can't find them. But like just to kind of spark some ideas um, and maybe share like some looks that I would pair them with. But anyways, I love you. Thank you for watching. Sending you guys all the magical and spooky vibes. And I will be back insanely soon with my next video.